it looks like The Witcher is not going away anytime soon. The eight episodes of the first season were not nearly enough to satisfy our thirst for action. Sword fights, medieval wars, and of course, monsters. So that's why Netflix decided to breathe new life into the series. And today, we wanted to look at The Witcher, season two. First look. So, let's dive right in, shall we? A short recap for all those who missed this gem of a show. The Witcher is what you get when a love triangle involves a young princess, a witch, and a witcher. The witch and the witcher don't really age, but the princess on the other hand does. So who are all these people? Let's look at them one by one. We'll start with the witcher. He's played by Henry Cavill and is the main character in the entire series. Who and what is he? Well, we already told you who he is, but we didn't quite tell you what he is. To answer that, we need to look at what he does for a living. He earns his living by killing powerful monsters for a bounty. Because of his strength, speed, and magic, he's pretty much unbeatable, which translated into some pretty epic fight scenes throughout the first season. Just see how he managed to go through the pack of bandits in Renfri. Next on the list is Yennefer. Being a hunchback all her life meant that she couldn't help around the house. So, her father sold her to a witch. Yennefer learned the art of witchcraft and soon became one of the most powerful sorcerers in the lands. She worked with the king for a while, before finally quitting and sought out to find her own path. What is her path about? It's all about finding a cure for her infertility through magic. And this quest has led Yennefer to cross paths with the Witcher. They have numerous affairs together, which might or might not lead to a love story. And finally, we have Princess Ciri. She's the girl that's been told to go and find the Witcher, as her town was burned to the ground by invading forces. She too has magical powers and they include a powerful scream that can split the earth in half. In the season one finale, Ciri and the Witcher meet in the forest. Ciri's too young to be his lover, but she did see into the affairs of Geralt. And that's what she asked him at the end of episode eight. Who is Yennefer? You want me to kill yours? Very clever. What kind? The worst kind. The human kind. So, is there going to be a season two? Seeing how the first season ended on such a huge cliffhanger, we wanted to know whether Netflix is planning to continue this love triangle that's coded in blood. Because the first season was so popular, not to mention the fact that The Witcher has some of the craziest fighting scenes in the entire fantasy genre, we could see why Netflix eagerly wanted to continue the saga. I mean, just the trailer for season one had more than 19 million views on YouTube. So to answer the above question, Briefly, yes, there is going to be a second season. Actually, with a little research, we found out that Netflix can't wait to release the second season, and they renewed it even before season one had finished airing. On November 13th, 2019, Lauren S. Hisrick, smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But, in all seriousness, she actually stated that Netflix renewed the series for a second season. Do you mind if I hop up there with you? It's just I'm not really wearing the right kind of footwear. Don't touch Roach. In that case, when's the release date? Sadly, neither the showrunners nor the producers have any definite information regarding the release date of The Witcher Season 2. And guess who's to blame for that? Why, COVID-19, of course. Rest in peace, 2020. Because of the pandemic that's been making all of our lives and activities that much harder, the cast and crew were hit just as hard. When it comes to releasing the new season, they would have done it immediately after season one finished airing, but they couldn't due to the virus. So what does this mean for the release date? Nothing in particular. We know that there is definitely going to be a season two of the show. We just don't know when, albeit we do know that it's going to be sometime in 2020. Even Hisrick said so herself during one of Reddit's AMAs. We don't yet have a target launch date for season two past 2021. The company responsible for the special effects behind The Witcher. Why are they important? Because every movie or TV series is usually done after the editing company has finished their job. So, now that we know the contract that Platage Image have with The Witcher is due July 2021, we can safely assume that the new season is going to be hitting theaters sometime in August 2021. After all, that's what happened with the first season. The contract was due to November, and the first episode of The Witcher aired on December 20th, 2019. Even though this is only an assumption, 
it's not that far-fetched. Damn it, Yaskia! Why is it whenever I find myself in a pot of shit these days, it's you? Has production started? Well, if the official Twitter account of The Witcher has any credibility, they've said that they're going to be starting production on August 17th of 2020. This means that the set, the scripts, and the actors are all ready to go and film the long-awaited season two of The Witcher. And if you want further proof on the matter, we suggest you take a look at the Instagram accounts of Henry Cavill and the other Witcher cast members, where they constantly post behind the scenes photos of the second season. Take Henry for example. He took a photo while two of the makeup artists were doing his hair. Aside from being a funny photo, Henry also pointed out that the cast is constantly being tested for signs of COVID-19. So the viewers need not worry. Witcher. Kill it. No. This is no monster. I order you. How many episodes will season two have? From what we've managed to find, season two is going to have the same number of episodes as season one. That means the usual eight, one hour long episodes per season are going to be the norm for the second season. But this time, they're probably going to have less of the jumping time frames, which is always welcome. Who's returning for season two? And the question that's on everyone's mind is, which of the cast members have the showrunners decided to keep, and which are going to be going home? For now, it seems as if the entire cast is going to be the same, with some newcomers being featured on the show. That being said, you can pretty much bet that Henry Cavill playing the legendary girl, aka The Witcher, is going to be coming back. Next to him, the other characters that will reprise their roles, Anya Kalatra, who plays Yennefer, as well as Freya Allen in the role of Ciri. And who will be the new actors making an appearance on the show? Well, it's said that there are going to be two other witchers that are going to be featured alongside Geralt. They are Paul Bullion, who is going to be playing Lambert, the Witcher. Second, we have Yasin Ator, who will be portraying the role of Cohen, the Witcher. And the third one being Agnes Bjorn as Verena. This will probably mean we're going to see Kaer Morin, the place where the witchers get their training. And unlike the actors, the directors are going to be all chucked to the side and replaced with new guys. They are Ed Balzalgeti. Sarah O'Gorman, Greta Patel, and Steven Sergic. You talk. Of course I talk! What happened with you? What will the storyline entail? Now we come to what some consider the most interesting part of the season, the storyline. So, what are they going to be including here? Well, first of all, we're not going to have the different timelines we had in the first season. Instead, for season two, we're going to only have one timeline where the actors will be allowed to have flashbacks and flash forwards, which weren't the case in season one. And the other two interesting things that we're going to see in season two are the relationships that Geralt is going to have with Vesemir. He is the father figure who raised Geralt from a little boy. The next interesting thing that we're going to see in season two of The Witcher is how Geralt develops his relationship with Ciri. This is going to be a particularly difficult task for the writers as they would be obligated to develop a way that would allow these two heroes with completely different backstories to meet. Netflix's little surprise. Since The Witcher season one got 76 million households watching it on Netflix, you can pretty much bet that they're going to milk this as far as it goes. The Witcher is now going to have its own animated series, and it's rumored to feature The Witcher's mentor and the origin story of Geralt of Rivia. The name of the series is going to be The Witcher, Nightmares of the Wolf. And if you're wondering if you're going to have enough time to watch both series at the same time, don't you worry. It is said that the animated series is going to be released somewhere near the start of 2021. That means we will have something to kill some time. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, do you think Henry Cavill did a good job playing Geralt of Rivia, aka The Witcher? You can tell us in the comment sections down below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching.